Section 6.1, numbers 9 and 10. Here we have an expression, and it has two terms. We're going to want to factor out the greatest common factor of the two terms. So the first thing I usually do is look at the numbers and think about the different factorings. Okay, 8, 8 times 1, 4 times 2, 4, 4 times 1, 2 times 2. So to have the greatest common factor, I'm going to want to think of this as 4 times 2, and this is just 4 times 1. And if you're not too sure about the greatest common factor, then use the process from the previous video clips with numbers 2 and 5 on them. Off to the side, just do out the factors for each one, look at all the different factorings, and see which ones have the greatest common factor. All right, so for the numbers, we're going to take out 4. And we're going to leave the 2 and 1 there. Now do the variables. What can we pull out? This one has two y's, this one has one y. So the most we could pull out is one, because that's all that the second term here has. So we're going to pull out one y. So what we do is we put the GCF on the outside, and we're going to put the leftovers in parentheses. So factoring is sort of the opposite process of clearing parentheses. You're putting parentheses back in. Now this could be a useful skill later for solving higher order equations, um, unlike the linear equations we dealt with in the last course. We're going to have to solve some equations where you do have to put parentheses back in. All right, so we pulled out the GCF of 4y. If I pulled out the 4 here, I'm left with a 2. If I pulled out one of the y's, I'm left with 1. And then bring the plus sign down, so you always just carry down the sign, unless you pull out a negative or something. 4 we took out, we're left with 1. Y we took out, so there's no variable left at all. So this stuff here is the leftovers. And the leftovers always go in parentheses. And that gives us our final answer. The answer is 4y times 2y plus 1. That would be a completely factored expression. One way to check that you did it right is multiply it back out. Get rid of the parentheses and see, do you get the original back again? The 8y squared plus 4y. Well, if we do 4y times 2y, we get 8y squared, plus 4y times 1 is 4y. So yes, we get 8y squared plus 4y back. And that means that we did it correctly. Okay, so that's one example of factoring. Let's do out one more. Number 10. And number 10, again, we want to factor. This one's got a little bit more going on. We have 5x to the fourth, y squared, take away 20, x cubed, y cubed. All right. Right away I'm looking at the 20 and I'm thinking, yeah, it's got a 5. I can call it 5 times 4. So let's think of it as a 5 times 4. Now we want to pull out the common factors. We'll think of 5 as just 5 times 1. Numbers, common factors are 5. Pull them out. Variables, let's start with the x. 4x is here, 3x is here. The most they have in common is 3, so I'm going to pull out x times x times x, or x cubed. y's, two y's here, three here, the most I can pull out is two. So I'm going to pull out two. Leftovers, here I pulled out the five, I'm left with a one. I pulled out three of the x's, so I'm left with one more x that gave me x to the fourth y squared, I pulled all of it out. It's gone. Carry down the minus sign. For the 20, I pulled out the 5 already, so I'm left with a 4. x cubed, we pulled out the entire x cubed. It's gone. For the y's, we pulled out y squared, but we started with y cubed. That means we have one left. And let's rewrite that so we don't have a 1 in front of the x here. 
So our final answer would be GCF 5x cubed y squared times the leftovers x take away 4y. All right, and multiplying it back out to check, we'll see if we get the original back again. The other thing to check is that on the inside where the leftovers are, you don't still have a greatest common factor in there. If you do, it's okay. It doesn't mean you're doing it wrong. It just means you got to keep going. Keep pulling out the greatest common factors, or the, the common factors, until you are completely done and there are no more to pull out. So multiplying this back out to check, we get 5x cubed y squared times x gives us 5x to the fourth, because we add the exponents. y squared, yep, that checks out the first term. Then take away, that works. 5 times 4 is 20. x cubed y squared times y is y cubed. So it checks out, we get the right answer. All right, so there's a couple examples of factoring out greatest common factors from an expression.